Yo, what's going on guys, back on another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to clip things using GeForce Experience. Um, if you don't have an NVIDIA graphics card or no graphics card whatsoever, uh, there will be videos on how to clip stuff on AMD and without a graphics card in the description below. So go ahead and press those. Um, let's get right into this video. Also, let me clarify, I talk a lot in this video because people in the last video had a ton of questions I had to answer, so there you go. So we're going to go ahead and open our GeForce Experience up. You're probably going to be in the Home tab. You just want to go over to the little gear icon right here, and you're going to look for in-game overlay. If it's off, go ahead and turn it on and go into the settings. Right here, it's going to take you right here, just press Escape. Or you can just go ahead and press Alt Z. So you're going to turn everything off that you have right here. We're going to go ahead and click on Instant Replay and go to Settings. Right here is just the capture like length. If you want it three minutes or one minute, it really doesn't matter. Just whatever your preference is and how fast you can click the button is is preferred. This is your resolution and what you ever want. What you want? The FPS recommended to 60 FPS. Um, when you go up reg resolutions, it will change how much space is being um, used, utilized, or whatever. And here's your bitrate. It kind of changes with that as well. See, I go to 80 bitrate, it goes up to 600 megabytes. If I go to 130, it's basically at a gig. Keep it around 50, 60, 80, around there to get the nice crisp quality. And if you have like a one terabyte hard drive that you just put clips on, go ahead and put 130 so there's for that these are your recording settings um since we already configured that in instant replay it doesn't really matter so let's go to this little gear icon and what we're going to do now is we're going to configure the keyboard shortcuts so it knows what you're going to press to clip stuff so on the record tab we're going to go down to and then we're going to find the save last 1.3 minutes of recorded I have mine set at F8 because it's something really easy that I can just press right quick. And I'd recommend y'all find an optimal button that y'all can press and something that you won't use, uh, preferably one of the function keys because they're not used as much. So there's that. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get into the privacy control. Uh, what does privacy control do? It basically lets you record your desktop and not just supported games that GeForce Experience has so you can get like really funny moments in Discord calls and whatnot. So you want to go ahead and turn that on. If you don't, if it doesn't pop up for you, all you're going to do is turn it off and then turn it back on. It usually solves most of your problems. Um, and then you're going to go to privacy control. And there you go. If it still doesn't pop up, I'll try to put some solutions down in the description. Maybe like a video or something that y'all can go watch and be done with that, you know. So now we're going to be going into where you're going to store your clips. Um, it will store where you put your recordings. So right now I have it um, temporary files and SSD, which is preferred if you can. I just said preferred, very weird. And then your videos, you can just go in and then uh, select whatever file you want to. It's easy as that. And that should be it. That's just how you should clip. You just go ahead and turn your instant replay mode on. And then uh, just press F8 or whatever function whatever key you picked and then you'll see that it just saves the time that it's been recording um and that's how you clip things so that's going to be all for today i hope this video helped you well all my socials will be linked in the description as well as my team's socials um i'll see you guys in the very next video uh peace Spray when I shoot like beautiful rain right now Laughing straight to the bank